Hello everyone, so we will be going through the 2021 Agricultural Science Paper 1. So I'll go through it as quickly as I could possibly go through these questions. So the first question, marketing can best be described as A, we have value added, farm products, selling goods produced on the farm at the marketplace, buying goods from the market to be sold to exporters or moving goods and services from producer to consumer. So the best answer for this question would be D, moving goods and services from the producer to consumer. Biodiversity refers to the impact of humans. Biodiversity refers to the impact of humans on a given habitat, differences in the individuals within each species, different species of organisms and the variety of habitats in which they live, different habitats in which animals live. The best or the most suitable answer would be C for this question. Moving on to question number three, which are the following are functions of the World Trade Organization. So we have three options here, trade negotiation, dispute settlements, monitoring trade agreements. So in my in my opinion, all three of them would be functions of the World Trade Organization. Moving on now to question number four. Conventional farming is different from organic farming because conventional farming involves excessive use of pesticide fertilizers and herbicides. Okay, that seems like a possible answer. Let's look at the others. Discards the use of GMO. Heals healthy soil and prevent soil erosion, promote good health and farm practices. So the best answer for number four would be involve extensive use of pesticides, fertilizers, and herbicides. All right, moving on. Which of the following statements best refers to the role of food safety measures? A, focuses on, identifi on identifying and preventing contamination of food. Okay. And B, ensure that food is served to customers and is healthy. C, encourage improvement in quality of produce, and D, encourage the use of organic pesticides. The most suitable answer is focusing on identifying and preventing contamination of food. Question six, which of the following is an advantage to farmers who grow organic crops? Increase manual labor, B, higher cost of production, C, no pesticide residue, more time is spent with the crop. So which of the following is an advantage to those who are growing organic crops? The best or the most suitable answer for this would be C, no pesticide residue, because in organic farming, no pesticide, no um, inorganic pesticide is used on the crops. All right, so question seven refers to this graph, which shows the relationship between rainfall and yield of tomato during a particular year in country E. So we have the yield, the yield is steady throughout the year, and the rainfall, the rainfall is fluctuating. We have high amount of rainfall in January, we have low in May, we have high amount in August, and it keeps fluctuating. So the question is, the yield of tomato is steady because the crop is most likely, so we have three to choose from here, produce, during, produce using a hydroponic system, grown intensively in the field, grown on a sandy soil, which is well fertilized. Well, right away for out of these three, I would say the first one alone would be applicable. If they're grown intensively in the field, rainfall will affect their the yield. And if they're grown on sandy soil, well then in especially dry season, they will have problems there. So the most suitable answer here, in my opinion, would be A. Question seven refers to the following table, which shows the demand supply and price of tomatoes in a country. So on this column, we have quantity demanded, quantity supplied and the price. So based on the information that is given on this table, the equilibrium price of tomato is well, the equilibrium price is when the demand and the supply are equal to one another. And uh, looking at the two of them, we see that here is where the demand and the supply is equal. So the equilibrium price would be $2 and that would be C. Question nine, a farmer wants to know the number of tools in her farm, which record should she check? We have labor record, financial, inventory, and production. C would be the correct answer. Farmer green produce purchases a rotavator at a cost of $20,000. The value of the rotavator will depreciate at 10% annually. So which of the following records will the depreciation of the rotavator will be recorded? The answer for this question is crop production record. Which of the following can be done to speed up the breakdown of organic matter in a compost heap? So gather dead plants and animals faster. That would, but let's see the other questions. Add water to the compost when it is dry. That will speed it up. Light a fire on top of the heap to create more heat. The fire might destroy the microorganisms or kill them. Allow a long time to pass? No. So the most suitable answer for this would be B, add water to the compost when it is dry. Question 12, during Lent, people demand more fish than any other meat. And this is represented by a shift from, so this question you will see that it has been repeating itself for a number of years. The answer would be a shift from D because the demand is increasing. It will move from D to D1, D represents demand. So this answer would be B. 13, in economic terms, a surplus is created when supply is less than demand. Supply is equal to supply, definitely not this. C, supply is greater than demand. And D, demand is greater than supply. The answer here would be C, we're supplying more, we're creating more than what is demanded. So we have a surplus. 
Question 14 from which of the following graphs can the equilibrium price of a product be determined? The answer here would be C. Equilibrium price would be where the demand and the supply would intersect. Question 15, which of the following are benefits of price support to farmers? One, economic security to farmers. Three, so this would be one of the answers. Three, farming materials, not, necess not necessarily. So, and three, guaranteed prices for certain products. So I think the most suitable answer for question 15 would be B. A farmer is least likely to be guaranteed a good credit rating if he is prompt in taking care of all financial obligations, uses agricultural loans for their intended purpose, works out a realistic plan for the repayment, is recalled to work out a repayment, a payment plan for his arrears. So again, the question is, a farmer is least likely to be guaranteed a good credit rating. So if the farmer is recalled, it means that they were not making their payments, their monthly payments, as they should be making their monthly payments, and that would cause them to have a low credit rating. Moving on to question 17, which of the following pairs of input of production comprises variable costs, seeds and medication. We have fertilizers and building, not building, medication and machinery. Again, machinery would not be variable, that would be fixed. Management and building, so the total answer here would be A. Which of the following is not a likely role of agricultural cooperatives, provide scholarships to farmers, assist farmers in marketing of produce, access, access government support, and enable farmers to remain in business? The most suitable answer would be A. 16, which of the following statement describe a partial budget? A, it contains all income and expense items. No, that would be a complete budget. It allows for the profitability of different farms to be compared. It contains only those items that are considered fixed costs. It is used in a situation that require a change in the farm plan. Yes, D was the most suitable answer here. Question D, for the following information for farm abandons 1,000 unit of, uh, 1,000 unit broiler farm. So we have some information here using the information on the table. The gross farm input for farmer abandon um, broiler farm is gross farm income, sorry, the gross farm income. So all of the income, you add up the total of all of the, the income here, and that would be the gross income. So the number of boys is 1,000. The average selling price per boy is $20. $20 multiplied by 1,000, that should be 20,000. And we have the answer here as D. Question 21. Refers to this diagram, which horizon determines the chemical composition of the soil, the parent material, normally determine the, um, the chemical composition. That would be horizon D here. That's the parent content, parent material, and that would be D. A bag of mixed fertilizer is labeled 7, 14, 21. What is the ratio of nitrogen to phosphorus in this fertilizer? Remember N, the forest is 7 here, is referring to N, nitrogen. 14 is referring to phosphorus, and uh, 21 is referring to potassium. So the nitrogen to phosphorus is 7 to 14. 7 to 14, that's 1 to 2, a ratio of 1 to 2. A would be the answer. Question 23. In maintaining soil fertility, farmer Jenny planted pumpkin and watermelon along with our newly cultivated coconut crop. This method used to, mean, used to assist in maintaining soil fertility is known as Okay, so she's planting pumpkin and watermelon along with coconut crops. So that sounds more like intercropping. 24. Burning as a form of land clearing is highly discouraged because it leaves the soil black, breaks down soil texture, increases atmospheric temperature, remove valuable nutrients from the soil. So most of the answer here would be B. As for removing valuable nutrients when the ash would contain some form of nutrients, so I would not, I don't think that D would be the most suitable answer here. The equipment is used to measure this equipment here. Well, this looks like a rain gauge, so it should be checking the amount of rainfall. It should be measuring the amount of rainfall. 26, a type of germination where the cotyledons abo appear above, above the ground, that's epigeal. Hy hypogeal, the cotyledon will remain below the ground. Question 27 refers, item 27 refers to the following diagram, which shows one of the life processes that occur in plants. We have P and Q here. So this looks like photosynthesis, where we have carbon dioxide and water used by the plants and produce uh, food along with oxygen gas. So let's see the question. The atmospheric gas being utilized by the plant at P in the diagram above is, well, as I just said, that would be carbon dioxide. 28, the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one plant to the stigma of another plant of the same or closely related species is known as. The main point to note is that it happens on another plant. So it is cross pollination. The process by which plants lose water in the form of vapor in the air, that's called transpiration. Seeds are formed from rupturing of fruit walls, that would not be the answer, fertilized ovules, fertilized ovary mature ovules. So fertilized ovules will develop into seeds. The use of living organisms to control weed is, is a practice known as, once you're using living organisms, that would be biological control. Moving on to 32, when a single, when a cross is made between parents having a single difference in trait, this is known as single trait, that will be monohybrid cross. Which of the following activities will cause soil erosion? Overgrazing, yes. Land clearing, yes. Excessive rainfall, all of these things can cause soil erosion, so the answer here would be T. A tall pigeon pea plant with the genotype TT is crossed with a dwarf pigeon plant with the genotype TT. What is the possible phenotype of the offspring? So if we have a small Punnett square, we can probably represent it. All right, let's undo this. Let's draw it. So we can probably have a Punnett square here. 
possible phenotype of the offspring. So one of the offspring, one of the one of the parents have a genotype of T and the T. Sorry about the writing; it's not so clear. And the other parent a genotype of two common T recessive. So we have a dominant here and a recessive. So that will be a dominant along with a recessive. Then we have this two again. So we have a dominant and a recessive, and these two will be two recessive. All right. So we have a T two recessive. So two two uh, heterozygous pairing and two homozygous recessive. So the question is asking us, which, what is the possible phenotype of the offspring? Three tall plants and one short plant, that would not be correct. Two tall plants and two short plants, yes, these two would be tall and these two would be short. So the answer for this question would be B. Moving on to question 35, which are the following pest control method are combined in the integrated pest management approach. So cultural, biological, medicinal, no, that doesn't sound right. Cultural, biological, mechanical, conventional, biological, medicinal, not really. Conventional, biological, mechanical, and chemical. Now, now this is a tricky one. B, we have cultural, biological, mechanical, and chemical. So B would be B would be the correct answer for this question. Which of the following is most likely to occur when crops are grown in an area with high relative humidity and increase in incidence, increase incidence of fungal disease? Which of the following is not a benefit of farm mechanization? Now, farm operations are performed on time, that's a benefit. Better yield and quality of produce, that's a benefit. Improved standard of living for rural farmers, all of those are benefit. Increased losses in crop handling, that's not a benefit. So D would be the answer for 37. Question 38, which of the following types of chemicals can be applied to treat early blight in tomatoes? Well, well, early blight is caused by a fungus. And to treat this disease, you will need a fungicide. A field of cabbage shows sign of heavy infestation by cabbage white butterfly larvae, which are the following symptoms are, of, are the plants most likely to show. So if it is a larvae, most likely they'll be feeding and damaging the leaves. So D would be the most appropriate answer. Severe damage to leaves and heads. Farte, which are the following instruments for harvesting are instructions, which are the following instructions for harvesting are appropriate. In my opinion, the most suitable answer here would be B. So question 41, 42 refers to this diagram here. We have the structures, one to four labels, we have the intestine. So the function of the part label two is to so one is the esophagus and two, that would be the crop. So the function of the crop is to store food, not grind, not all of this function, but it is to store food. Good. Which of the parts labeled one, two, three, or four is the proventriculus? So which one of them is the proventriculus? The proventriculus should be three. So structure three would be the proventriculus. In rabbits, most cellulose digestion take place in the rectum, cecum, stomach, esophagus, most of the Cellulose digestion occurs in the cecum. Here is where you have the bacteria and they will break down the cellulose. Which of the following feeds contain the highest percentage of protein per unit weight? Fish meal, broken rice, coconut meal, cocoa pod, obviously fish meal, fish has lots of protein. Question 45, before I to this diagram, which two parts of the egg are rich in protein? So we should have structure one and structure three. Structure one and three, that's the most suitable answer there. A, 46, a ram, and you both heterozygous for trait having horns are mated. H represents dominant allele. allele. H represents the dominant allele for horns, and H common H or lowercase lowercase H represents the recessive allele. What is the possible genotype of the offspring from this cross? Again, we have to do a quick cross to see how um what are the possible offsprings that we can have here. So let's draw a square box where we can have a point square. So both heterozygous. If both are heterozygous, then both would have uppercase and a lowercase. Uppercase and a lowercase. So here we have a homozygous dominant allele. <clears throat> here we have a heterozygous dominant pair. This is another heterozygous pair. And then we have a recessive allele. Homozygous recessive. So, what is the possible genotype of the offspring from this class? So, we have uh, not A, B, C. C would be our correct answer. So, C would be our correct answer based on what we just worked out. Out, out of a herd of 12 offsprings, how many will most likely be homozygous recessive for the horn trait? Out of the herd of 12, how many will, like, will most likely be homozygous recessive? So, out of four, one of them was uh, homozygous recessive. So four trees, 12, so the answer would be A. A likely disadvantage of artificial insemination in cows is less disease transmission, 
less technical skill required. No, you need more. Cost breeding of local stock, more technical skills. Yes, you need technical skill when you are carrying out artificial insemination. Eggshell can be used as a feed supplement for layers because it contains the eggshell is calcium carbonate, so it has lots of calcium. Which are the which white breed of pigs is noted for being excellent mothers, producing large litters, and having deep body? I think the answer here should be C. The disease of rabbits characterized by runny nose, coughing, sneezing is most likely that sounds like snuffles. Artificial insemination has become increasingly popular in the Caribbean in recent years because it ensures that conception does take place. More trained technicians are willing to assist. It is like it is a less costly way of upgrading local animals. Regional government have been expanding the service. I think the most suitable answer here would be A. Question 53, which of the following is not a function of candling in poultry production? Candling is when you pass light to an egg. So which is not a function? Detecting abnormality in the egg. That is, that should be a function. Determining the fertility of the egg. So determine if the egg is fertile or not. You do, you do the can, you perform candling. Determining the correct consistency of the egg. Or checking whether the eggs are developing properly. So I think the best answer here would be C, determining the correct cons consistency of the egg. You can't really determine that by candling. 54. Easter cycle refers to the time between conception and birth. No. When the animal comes on heat, that's not correct. When animal is near to give birth, no. So the answer should be D, between one heat period and the next. So we have a question here on feed conversion ratio. At three days, poultry farm record shows that the average life weight of 1,000 birds is 3 kilograms. So 3 kilogram times 1,000, that's 3,000, while the feed consumed by all of the birds is 12,000. What is the feed conversion ratio of the birds? So it's uh, you have to put 12,000 at the top, the amount of feed consumed, divided by the total weight of the bird, that is 3,000, 12. So the answer, the answer should be B, 4 to 1. Violet birds. The next question, violet birds with signs of blisters on the face, legs, and other parts of the body are most likely infected with, that would be foul pox disease. The queen bee in the hive is a female that is Sterile? No. Yes, the queen bee is fertile. Smaller, sexually immature? No. So the correct answer would be B. Function of the drone in the hive is to forage for nectar and pollen. That sounds more like the work, the function of the worker bee. Mate with the queen. Yes, that would be the function of the drone. Which of the following best explain how honey is purified after harvesting? Most suitable answer here would be A. Where you heat to 80 degrees Celsius to strain and allow it to cool. Next question, the live weight of a goat is 50 kilogram. The dress carcass weight is 30 kilogram. What is the dressing percentage? So how do you work out the dressing percentage? You put the dress weight at the top, that's 30, divided by the live weight, which is top 50, and then you multiply that by 100, and the answer that you get should be 60%. So that brings us to the end of all of the questions in 2021, paper one. If you have any concerns about any of the questions that I just went through, if you disagree with any of the answers, please leave a comment so that I can review those questions for you and uh, make any necessary corrections. I hope that you benefit from this presentation.